Hey guys, um, I'm totally in a different setting, if you can't tell. I wanted to get on here and talk about some things. I haven't been making videos because my grandmother passed away. And that's been hard to deal with, but also I inherited her house. So I'm getting it all fixed up and, well not just me, like my parents and my boyfriend's parents because he's going to be living with me. So we're renovating it and making it accessible for him since he's in a wheelchair. And I kind of wanted to document the experience of renovating. I wish I had gotten footage or more pictures of my grandma's house as it was, how she left it. Um, just for my purpose and to show before and after and the progress in between. But um, it just didn't work out that way. So, I'm going to show you guys, and keeping this for myself as well, what the house looks like right now. So I'm in the kitchen, but I'm going to start at the front door. Okay, it's night, it's night time, and I have my flash on, so hopefully that helps. But here's the front door, and we have took out carpet and stuff, so everything is pretty much everywhere. So... Where this china cabinet is, she had her recliner and a stand next to it. And her TV was kind of curved and she had a chair right here. And then, as you see, we moved all the dining room contents into here. But on that wall, she had a chair for guests. And then along this wall, she had her sofa. And in front of that, she had a coffee table. She had a cream colored carpet, which was stained from cigarette smoke as well as dogs, because she had dogs and she was a smoker. But to our surprise, when we pulled up the floor, there was wood floors down, which was very surprising. Okay, right off the living room is this hallway, and the carpet is rough. It is probably older than I am, but, and we've had construction people coming through, so that's why there's bits and bobs all over the floor. But in the hallway, to the left, is a bedroom, the master, and then the bathroom, and then a guest bedroom. So this is where my grandma's bed was, or still is, obviously. So there's a closet and dressers and all the wood furniture I'm keeping but anything that is cloth and fabric is trash because she was a smoker so can't keep those things around. And I'll talk about the wood paneling for a second. I'm going to paint over them with like a light gray and then we're going to do white trim. And I'm thinking of doing that throughout the whole house. I think that would give it a very modern look. And yes, you can see where a picture was over there. And it left a square because all the nicotine and stuff. So we're going to have to clean the walls and then we're going to kilt them. And that's a primer that keeps in all smells and doesn't let any more smells back in. And yeah. So we're going to have to do that. Off the hallway, there's a coat closet. There's a little cabinet above that, which has random things. And this is one renovation we really wanted to do. Um, not just because it's cute, obviously, but um, it will be easier for Tyler. Because regular doors, such as these ones, regular doors for people in wheelchairs to open and close by themselves is very difficult. So to keep Tyler as independent as he can be, we installed a sliding door and we're going to probably paint this or stain this but it's really smooth it's not all the way done yet because they can't finish the bottom rail until the carpet's all pulled up and today they had just finished the bathroom for the most part we still got some little things like Tyler's getting a grab bar by the toilet and we're gonna put up a mirror um, the thing about the mirror is we can't have the regular mirror that was in here beforehand 
because it would have to be hung up higher. But Tyler wouldn't be able to see himself since he's in a wheelchair. So we're going to get a bigger one and lower it. And I'll probably insert pictures. But her old bathroom did not have this wall. And there was just a random space. Like, it was unfinished. The contractor who did it was very unreliable and never came back to finish his work. So, this is the shower. It's very nice. I'm quite sad because I won't be able to use bath bombs anymore. <laughs> Which is very first world problems. But, um... Yeah, I'm very lucky to be able to get this shower. So, this bedroom, we're pretty much piling everything into it right now. Uh, because this will supposedly be the last bedroom that we're going to redo. And I kind of honestly want to make it a YouTube room slash guest bedroom. This was my room. Um, growing up going to nannies every weekend. Um, if you couldn't tell, Bratz dolls. And, you know, porcelain dolls and... Cabbage Patch Kids and whatever. So this is just a mess right now. Uh, things to go through, things to get rid of. Also, going back into the hallway. This I'm standing in the bathroom now, but there is this organizing system thing. The door fell off, we can replace it or just not. Maybe put a little curtain, maybe? That'd be kind of cool. Um, this is the dining room off of the living room. I don't really want to focus on the floors that much because there is some damage to them because of dogs. I'll just leave it at that. And it's kind of unlevel, so we are re-leveling the whole house that needs, like the spots that need it. And I'll talk through how she had it. She had her microwave up here because she didn't have much counter space, so she had that on a table over here. She had a filing cabinet. She had a, like, a VHS table that, like, store VHS tapes. And then she had a long, like, buffet table, but it was actually a stereo that played records. Over here she had her china cabinet. And over here she had her desk. And then where I'm standing, she had the dining room table right in the center. So... This room probably needs the most work after pulling up the carpet and finding out what was underneath, but we are going to try and stain it really, really dark to hide mistakes and stain it really well. So, this is the kitchen. This is what I've been doing mostly. Um, it was never this dirty. <laughs> I've just been pulling out things and cleaning them real well because she hadn't cooked in a long time. So most of these things weren't being used, so they needed a wash down. This was in the bottom of the china cabinet. I already packed up what was in the china cabinet that has gone to other family members. But I'm keeping this. She had her dish rack right here, but I threw it away because it was old and falling apart. Um, yeah, she has some cabinets up here. Um, you can kind of tell that they have nicotine all over them. Uh, I really love these little shelves below it. I think they're so cool. She kept her medicine up here, and yeah. Also, these shades are going to go, but for now, they're okay. Um, they used to be white, but now they're not because cigarette smoke. But there are really deep window sills, so you can put stuff on. And the windows in the kitchen are brand new, so that's nice. And yeah. So, this needs work because the floor of the bottom of this cabinet had fell through and it's much bad so that needs to be redone and here's just her cleaning supplies I took everything that was old or what I'm going to be able to use out of it and um, these old cabinets um, I cleaned out all of them except this one because I need to wash all those so there's pretty much nothing in those. And this door fell off, but it's like hanging by the little 
I don't know, I guess I can show you that little square thing down there, but the hinge came off, so I'm just propping it up on there. But the cabinets is what needs to be done most, and um, we don't have the money for it right away because we have other priorities in the house, like the floors, the paint, and the bathroom. But here's her fridge. It's been jumbled around since we've been cleaning, but her trash is usually up against the wall. And she has this, it's not real tile, it's like linoleum, is that what it's called? But she has this cool cutout um, shelf that I really want to keep open, because that'd be cool. And a little cart that had pots and pans and bits and whatever. Her fridge. And another problem. There's towels because I was mopping up a mess. But um, another problem that we're going to have is the space between the fridge and this cabinet. Because I want to have every room available to Tyler so he could have a fully accessible house, you know. That's what anybody wants in life. And we are going to have to move. Let's turn around. We're going to have to move the fridge down a bit so he can fit through. And right here had this cabinet we are now in the laundry room and um, since that cabinet I showed you that's messed up I started to clean those things and put them in this cabinet um, pans pie pans cake pans plastic wear random things <coughs> so this is the laundry room um, obviously a mess like everything else right now um, her hot water heater is in here she had this shelf built, I think, and she has laundry and random household items. Her washer and dryer, and that's her last load of clothes she had done, so we haven't gone through that yet. Um, laundry basket that has towels and stuff we've been cleaning with, and random tools and junk. Um, so, run through this room how she had it. She had an old, like, 70s table in here. It was pretty cool. But one of the legs were broken, so I didn't want to bother it. And then she had a old baby changing station that she used for storage. It was really old, and I had never seen one like it before, so there was like a lot of storage that she used it for and would pile things on. So I threw that away. Um, thought I might have could have done something cool with it, but in the end I think it would be too much work. So Okay, what will be done in this room thus far is not much maybe paint um it's just the laundry room you know my hopes for this room as of now is to get all this crap out of here after this is over with uh, i think it would be cool to have this like the pantry as well so that's why i put this in here um if we get that cabinet fixed um all this stuff would go back in there that's like pots and pans and whatever and I put canned goods, or I want one of those wire racks. You can get them at Walmart for like 30, 40 bucks. Also, forgot to mention, this door leads to this most random, it's the weirdest room you'll ever see in your life if you were ever here. <laughs> but it was going to be built into a screened in porch. It has the roof over it from the rest of the house, um, but there's no flooring. So it dumps down like a foot. There's some concrete, but there's like grass in there and stuff. But it could be possibly made into another room in the future. Or maybe a salon. So that would be cool to have an at-home salon. But that would be future stuff. We're not really worried about it right now because it's been that weird room forever. So I might show you in later videos of progress. But yeah. So that is the house for now. And I plan to show progress within the next coming days and weeks. Um, I don't know when I'm going to upload this since I'm down here. I don't have internet, but I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any questions, please let me know or any ideas on things to do in the house to make it different and more modern and cool. I do have a Pinterest that I've been posting things to if you want to follow that. I think it's the Little Miss L. Um, or you could search up Lizzie Joanne or Elizabeth Joanne and you'll probably find me. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please thumbs it up. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions below. And please subscribe so you can see the house come together. And I'll talk to you guys later. I appreciate you all, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.